Dr. Dan the Preacher Man here, coming at you this uh, Labor Day weekend. I hope you're having a great uh, day as we celebrate our labor as citizens of these United States. So I'm going to read a passage from Matthew 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where is your treasure? It's a good question. And for think about this, treasure is, uh, as an investment. So we invest our lives in our work, we invest our lives in our family, we invest our lives in, in, in the life of uh, the church and, and in missions. And so that often relates in how we are good stewards of what God has given us, the money that we use throughout our lives. And this is not a, a budgetary stewardship type of how-to. It's just a, a little bit of a rant today because of something I heard. I was had the news on while I was eating breakfast and uh, turned on the channel to my favorite news station and they were uh, discussion was about why people are so many people are still strong supporters of President Trump and so NBC CNN and these others were saying well their conclusion was they're just selfish and they're voting based on their pocketbook newsflash that's what people do I knew this going back to 1972 when I turned 18 and I could vote. And uh, of course, we look at all the issues, but it always usually boils down to, and I'm not talking as a Christian, I'm just talking as a citizen right now. We vote based on pocketbook issues. Consider when uh, Bill Clinton was running for the office of president against uh, uh, the first uh, George Bush. There was a slogan called it's the economy stupid why well the Democratic Party realized that people voted based on their what their pocketbook or their wallets gee this is not new folks this is not new people will invest in what they believe in it's just a reality so for the mainstream media to come to this conclusion that those who support the incumbent right now because it benefits them in the pocketbook that's not new that goes all the way back i mean go back and study the the uh, campaigns of previous presidents and their and their their opposition going all the way back to the first uh first race for the office of president or for any congressional race for that matter it's it's economy is going to be there people will invest in what they believe in it's a fact on both sides just this last election you know the one side was saying i'll cut taxes well that impacts the pocketbook uh the other side was talking about free college well that also impacts the 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 uh the wallet the pocketbook it does it's up you know it's the economy stupid it's the wallet, stupid. That's the way it is. So, just to be clear, I just wanted to have this little rant. He goes, people do invest in what they treasure. And so, when we come time to select a candidate, you know, we, we have to also say this to our politicians, to our congressmen and our senators and everybody else involved, you know, we have all these wonderful ideas and all that stuff, but you got to ask the question, are we stewards of what we have already? Can the government do a better job with the money they're already receiving? I miss uh, uh, the uh, one Senator Proxmire, I believe, who used to have the Golden Fleece Award, uh, where they would find, uh, you know, abuses of... Uh, spending our tax dollars and uh, we still need to shine a light on that as well because it does impact us you know we want to pay taxes but we want to pay the right amount in other words we want to get the most bang for our buck you know that's the bottom line left or right or center you know we should have good stewardship in any program out there i'm not talking about this policy or that policy i'm just talking about in general and so yes our wallets do matter. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, so take care. God bless. 
And uh, also, may your treasure be in Christ. Amen.